The switch statement compares the value of an expression against a set of predefined conditions, also referred to as cases. If there is a match, the block of code associated with that case is executed. In this example, we have a variable with the value Volvo assigned to it. Next, we've created a switch statement pertaining to the car variable with four cases. In the case that the car variable is equal to Volvo, we'll output the text, you drive a Volvo. In the second case, if the variable value is BMW, we'll output the text, you drive a BMW. And in the third case, if the car variable's value is Honda, we'll output the text, you drive a Honda. We then use the default statement to output the text, you don't drive, if the car variable does not equal any of the cases defined above. So as you can see, it's relatively straightforward. Since our car variable is set to Volvo, in our web browser, we can expect the statement, you drive a Volvo, to be outputted. If we change this to BMW, you can see that the statement now changes to you drive a BMW. Now what if we put something completely unrelated? We'll change the car variable to the value Merck. You can see that since Merck is in none of the cases, it results to the default, which is the statement you don't drive. 